This review is of Hen of the Woods Red Wine Vinegar Kettle, 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 kettle Cooked Potato Chips. And they are gluten free. I'm sorry, my daughter was just making me laugh as we're driving a long, long ways from Cincinnati to Northern Illinois. Uh, it is kosher, so it's safe for Jews and Muslims. And there's a barn on the back, so you can always put your cattle in there, I guess. Oh, Best Buy May 20... Uh, oh, dear. It's a, it's past its Best Buy date for a few, by a few days here. Let's see. This is the 3rd of June, so... Oh, no. <sighs> Other flavors. And we cracked the cold. Okay. Meaning you use too much salt. That's what that means. And here is the blurb. Um... The last time I tried this brand, I was not impressed. One ounce or 28 grams, about 14 chips, has 150 calories, eight grams of fat of which one is saturated, no cholesterol, 200 freaking milligrams of sodium, which is stupid, 17 grams of carbs, one gram of dietary fiber, no sugars, because it's all starch, so that becomes sugars, and two grams of protein. And then the ingredients are so conveniently located right there. And, oh, maltodextrin. So you can have a sugar spike. So there is sugar. It's sugar substitute anyways. Let's give it a try. So the back says, founded by three chefs who never settle for good enough. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's a pretty bold statement. Let's see if it lives up to it. Like I said, the last time I tried this brand, it didn't live up to it. Far from good enough. Okay, so um, I don't know if this is burned or if this is a piece of potato that actually had some rot. Um, you know, like the uh, potato blight kind of thing. Sometimes you cut open a potato, you can see a ring inside the potato that's uh, of a grayish color. Sour and salty. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to taste vinegar. I don't. Um, and even if I did, I doubt I'd be able to tell the difference between red and white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Um, all I taste is sourness and the saltiness and um, it's it's pretty potent um, so if you're looking for chips that don't actually mess around as far as the um, red wine vinegar flavor is concerned and you don't mind excessive amounts of salt destroying your blood vessels this is a great choice just stick to you know one or two ounces of these chips at a time. Otherwise, you are messing up your blood vessels at some point. I'll give them an eight. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.